everyone. We have one of our backbone of the Dermatology MDE lecture series, Dr. Rashmi Karkar. So, we'll be asking a few questions from ma'am. So ma'am, uh, what, what is the idea, what was the idea behind curating this MD Dermatology e lecture series? So, good question Ayushi. The thing is that, uh, you know, MD itself is a course which is quite complete in its own because, you know, you have to see patients as a postgraduate dermatology students and you have to collaborate it with your teaching, you know, by your teachers. So, this was thought of as an add-on material or as additional material, you know, which helps you because you it's always good to have audiovisual aids. So, you can say that this is an extra audiovisual aids. It's like a e-book kind of a thing that, you know, you just listen to it and see it and it recapitulates recap whatever, you know, you have learnt. That is how it has been visualized. Okay. Thank you so much, ma'am. So, the next question, ma'am, uh, what enhancement can we add on for, for future in this e-lecture field? So, the thing is, you know, as you know, knowledge is always dynamic, you know, it's in flow. It keeps changing every time. So, dermatology as a subject is very elaborate, it keeps on changing, you know. So, what we, you can expect is, you know, if somebody wants to have a quick glance, you know, at the lecture notes, the bullet points, you know, we do have printed matter on that, which is easy to just look through and glance, you know, some people find that easy. And uh, the other thing is that, uh, you know, any advancements occur, so then, you know, sometimes we would, you know, be adding on the e-lectures on these advancements, you know, which are they say advancements on treatments or any other thing, but largely it will focus on what we have in the postgraduate you know, curriculum, it's a kind of a revision or a recapitulation of what you've learned. Right? So, hello everyone. So, we have one of the backbone of our Dermatology MD e-lecture series, Dr. S. Sachdanan, one of the chief editor of our e-lecture series. So, uh, we'll be asking few questions to her to get more insight of it to get more learning of our e-lecture series. So, sir, uh, shall we start with, oh, sure. a, with some questions? So, our first question is, sir, to you, that is there any way where Dermatology MD students can interact with the faculties? Of course, yes. Dermatology students who are scattered around all across the country can reach out to a specific uh, subject expert to clear their doubts. Not only they have opportunity to have their own interaction with their own teachers, but they can also interact with others who are experts in the field. And this can be done in this technical and technological age. We can reach out to these experts through chatbots, through WhatsApp uh, messages. And I'm sure any teacher would be willing to teach student in a, across the country. You know, it, the boundaries are no more uh, relevant. It can be taught to anybody. So students can always reach out to uh, faculty who are willing to divulge their knowledge, share their knowledge and teach students. It can be done. So, uh, sir, is this e-lecture series helpful only for uh, dermatology MD students or for clinical practitioners as well? See, did you know is an e-lecture series started by JP Publishers okay. and it's going on very well. We have chosen myself and Dr. Ashwin Sarkar, we were the initial co-founders for this. And we have chosen experts in the field, particular subject, you know, they uh, deliver the lectures and these uh, lectures are so designed to make it easy, comprehensive and uh, understandable to not only to undergraduate students and I mean, and also to postgraduate students who are going to appear for exam. Plus, there are a lot of take home messages for the practitioners. So, this lecture series is a comprehensive series keeping in mind not only the undergraduate but also the postgraduate and the practitioners so that it will help them in day-to-day -day practice. You know, a lot of take-home messages would uh, give information to uh, clinical practitioners also. So that way DG you now series is a very helpful and uh, comprehensive uh, in the dealing with the subject of dermatology. So uh, sir, how can one assess that uh, he or she is good in that particular subject or in uh, how, how can they just gain their clinical knowledge? 
like do we have uh, some to, uh, like question bank or something like that to assess that see once they hear a lecture they can always uh, assess themselves as how much they have understood we have a question bank uh, after a very subject the student can go through the question bank answer the questions and then assess them the mm -hmm. evaluation can be done by self mm -hmm. so self evaluation will give them a uh, or a confidence as to how much okay. they have understood okay. and the beauty of this is that can be done again and again yes. if they not understand a particular subject they could go back to the lecture again to do to that and then come back to the question mm -hmm. in this way they can uh, assess them the as to how much they have understood and if there is any uh, difficulty they can always talk to the experts as well to clarify their doubts so it's a very interactive uh lecture series so uh, sir how will the animated videos that we have incorporated is helpful for the users see just giving a lecture a directed lecture would not impress the students yes. students want something more interactive and more uh, uh depictive things whatever a speaker wants to say if it is uh, shown through a animated video yes. the students understand better keeping that in mind in digital in specific areas where there the description can be given through animated videos we have incorporated those in between the lectures so that the student understand better and what you see and what you hear will have really really a lasting impression on the students i'm sure those videos will be there in their mind and they can always recollect during the exam you know, and then reproduce that that would be much easier for students to uh, go through these animated videos and the last question sir uh can the user expect to ace the residency exam in, by this e lecture series absolutely we have brought out the dermatology notes uh, book yes. dermatology notes okay have so this is uh, dermatology notes volume 1 we have one more volume where the, all the lectures have been you know again uh, compiled here when with more explanations and more uh, detailed uh, notes which the students can go through on a uh, regular basis and it will help them during the exams just before they are preparing for the exam they can go through these notes and uh, that will give them short uh, information which they can keep in mind normally you know very complex subject we make mnemonics we try okay. to make abbreviations and you know try to rem remember that and recollect that during our viva exam this would definitely help them in facing the uh, exam not only theory exams confidently but also the viva examination they can always recollect because they would have concise and you are given some abbreviations and mnemonics which the students can uh, remember and recollect very well so that way this notes is definitely helpful to all the post graduate students as well thank you so much sir for interacting with us thank you hello everyone so today we have dr sujala with us one of the contributor of our dermatology el e lecture series we are so honored to have you ma'am thank you so much thank you uh, so we'll just move ahead with asking questions sure, yeah. so um, how well this e lecture series align with the procedural dermatology with procedural dermatology yes so as we all know dermatology has become a pretty vast subject now and it's not just clinical dermatology one must know a few basic procedures even at the post graduate level and it's little unfortunate that in a lot of medical college even the basic procedures are not taught as well mm -hmm. so here in the e lecture series when we are covering these kind of topics it aids the students to understand these procedures much much easily uh we have a lot of uh, animations and you know uh, even the faculty themselves have put in a lot of videos so this will help the students understand the simple techniques that are involved and it it i must say prepares them to learn the technique in a much better and easier simpler way so yes this is something i would recommend the students to look at <laughs> a nice initiative so ma'am uh, the next question is what would you like to highlight when we mm -hmm. talk about the pharmacology interaction into our e lecture series yes uh, so this i must say is again another good well thought out uh, part of the e lecture series so if one has a look at the diginov app right uh, you can go into the uh, drugs label that is there at the bottom of the screen once you click on it you see that every simple information regarding the drug is available at your fingertips like whether it's the dosing whether it's a dose adjustment indications contraindications 
uh, whether they have any approvals, FDA approvals, and etc. So you know, it's it's very easy to like get a, a whole lot of information about a drug at your fingertips and in a very quick manner too. Mm -hmm. And for a busy practitioner, that's a very helpful feature, right? So sometimes we have a bunch of rarely used drugs that are also available in this list. So when we need to look at refresh our memory about this, this is a, I feel is a very important feature that you've added on. Oh. It must be something quite good. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. So, ma'am, if the drug chart feature is yeah. has a sufficient drug. Uh, quality or quantity into it? It's actually quite an exhaustive list as of right now. I okay. understand it's more than 250 plus drugs, which yes. has already been updated. Uh, but yes, of course, it's our, our faculty right now in dermatology, we are coming up with a lot of new drugs, mm -hmm. right? So, and I'm sure we'll keep upgrading these yes. with time and again. But yes, 250 plus drugs is a pretty good number of uh, extensive <laughs> list. Okay, ma'am. So, ma'am, what type of content is generally discussed in our chat show, regular chat show? Yes. So, the chat show is one other uh, nice added feature to the e-lecture series. So, in, in majority of our e-lecture series talks, it's more of the theory part that a uh, faculty has discussed, right? Uh, in your chat show, you have either one or two faculties discussing on a particular topic in a more of a practical approach kind of a way. It aids the students to understand the topics more in depth. And if the students have any questions, we are answering them a part of it then and there too. So, you know, it, it gives a more comprehensive approach to the same topic. Okay. So, it's a definite uh, good add-on to your uh, e-lecture series. So, the last question is, ma'am, sure. how the user can prepare their viva through, uh, through exam point of view by our e-lecture series? Yes. So, yet again, um, a few medical colleges have very good scientific teaching programs. Whereas in most places, due to you know various reasons, the scientific teaching program may not be as strong. Wherein here, I would recommend to you know subscribe to DigiNow. Now, apart from the app and a lot of information that's available through e lecture series and the chat show, which is happening every month, right? And we have the uh, book that is being released by the uh, publications. May I? So yes. So this is the. Digital book on dermatology. So what you can see here is the same e-lecture series which have been uh, available on subscription. You have it in a printable printed copy. So student can actually read through this along with simultaneously listening to the lectures. And a lot of the faculty have added on a few extra points here and there. And I've given you ideas as to further reading references, right? So you can make notes of the same in the book. So this will become your quick reference guide right before your exams. So it will be a very helpful addition for the students. <laughs> Yet again, a nice initiative. Definitely. <laughs> yes, sure. So thank you, ma'am, for, uh, for spreading <laughs> knowledge. <laughs> and sure. Thank you so much. Welcome, you all. So, so today we have Dr. Santos Dev, uh, one of the very major contributor and a spine for the Dermatology MD course. So today, sir, uh, first of all, welcome you. Thank you. So we have certain questions for you, sir. So we would like to ask you. Okay. Sir, it has been said that world is leprosy free. So what is your opinion? At what part this particular statement is true or complete? So what is your opinion on this? So uh, according to the current uh, government reports mm -hmm. and current WHO World Health Organization targets, mm -hmm. So there is a global action, leprosy action plan, a global plan for leprosy eradication mm -hmm. and they have set out certain goals that India also have uh, a national strategic plan mm -hmm. and according to that plan we aim to achieve leprosy elimination at sub-national level mm -hmm. by 2027. Mm -hmm. So at national level, the what you are saying is true. We have achieved the elimination status that is of having less than one cases per 10,000 population. So that is true that we have achieved a national level elimination. Mm -hmm. But there are certain states, there are certain districts where still the elimination goal is not reached. Mm -hmm. So for those focused high endemic parts, the government is bringing about national strategic plan and uh, all the major contributors, stakeholders, they are working for success of the plan. 
thank you sir so giving you such a nice input and it's really good to hear that that uh, india is moving ahead mm. so so how simple simplified we had done this particular leprosy talk, uh, topic in our e lecture notes so uh, that is very relevant question uh, in this module we have started uh, with the basic examination part first mm -hmm. so what we have covered is the examination of a leprosy patient and how one should examine a leprosy patient then along the 10 7 to 10 lectures we have covered all the important aspects like clinical features of leprosy leprosy in women leprosy in children uh, complications of leprosy like lepra reactions so there is a dedicated lecture on leprosy reaction and its management and also there is a lecture on management of leprosy so this whole module uh, in a in a nutshell or in a summarized way covers almost most of the important aspects of leprosy learning or management so nice of you sir so your hard work is really showing into the e lectures so now a very specific question to you how you yourself keep you updated for the knowledge so basically uh, particularly one has to keep reading so and any new information that is getting published mm -hmm. so one you can keep updated yourself with the uh, journals which are published in the field mm -hmm. and you also have to keep following the government policies that they come out with the plans with the workshop and training modules mm -hmm. so we have to look up uh keep learning keep reading following important websites mm -hmm. following important journals and following government plans so nice of you sir so good to know that such experienced doctors are still keen to learn no. more and all acha sir one more thing how do you enjoy almost being a, as a dermatologist <laughs> so that is very uh, very good question and uh, as we see it is uh, uh, nowadays post pg it is a most sought after branch mm -hmm. so there is a good uh, work life balance in dermatology mm -hmm. uh, so that is one part which which is very good and apart from that there is challenges as well so it has some part of medical management mm -hmm. if you are if you want to practice surgery then you can also do dermato surgery so you can focus you can have emergencies you can have surgeries you can do selective work mm -hmm. so that is the most satisfying part of being a dermatologist so in totality i can say you love challenges <laughs> yeah. uh, that's right yeah acha sir so we have uh, i can see you have also incorporated oskis into this uh, e lecture notes as an alternative learning resources so how much these uh, oskis are helpful in clinical uh, knowledge and upskilling themselves so basically with the upgradation of the an mc course and curriculum they are increasingly going to be asked uh, in oski manner so that is why it is important when we develop any such module to have an oski with that so they can uh, when in when they appear for exams and when they have a similar scenario it will help them thank you sir so so giving some insights about the md dermatology e lectures so it was a very short thing what we can arrange with dr santosh dev so first of all thank you for being here it was a pleasure meeting you talking to you and hope we will be meeting again and we will be doing a lot more and a bigger discussion thank, thank you sir thanks a lot you.